Hey my friends, Cody here with Let's Talk About Scents. Today we are going to be featuring two perfumes from the collection of Darren Allen perfumes. But first, before we jump into these, I would like to give you a little rundown on who exactly is Darren Allen. From Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Darren Allen is an artisanal perfumer trained in the classical French method of perfumery. Which has developed over the past 25 years, Darren has 15 years experience in fragrance development for personal care industry as well as private clients. Darren aims to create olfactory experiences with his sense, transporting your mind to another place and time. We have most certainly dealt with um, fragrances in the past that aim to do this exact same thing. And Darren's does not lack in the slightest when it comes to transportation in perfumes. And as you know from my previous videos dealing with people like Mandy Aftel, um, I absolutely love a perfume that makes me feel or makes me... Um, regenerate this memory in my mind whether it's from when I was younger or in recent times I absolutely love perfumes like this so without further ado let's dig in here the two that I have chose to shine the spotlight on today for this full review video now I have the entire collection of Darren Allen so I will be speaking on behalf of the samples that he sent me as well, but I will probably be doing um, those um, on a much smaller scale, like on my Instagram page and stuff, especially if you all are interested in one that I have not spoke about today. But the two that I wanted to really break down and talk about were actually my two favorite, and that is After the Rain and Devil Share. Up first, we're going to be talking about After the Rain. This is considered a unisex abstract green aquatic. This bottle right here is Darren's uh, travel size. It runs for $37. The notes in this are going to be ozone, fresh air, wet rocks, green leaves, wild honeysuckle, fern, wet soil, dried leaves, lingering smell of sunshine on skin. Now, as you can probably guess from these notes, this is going to be exactly what it's listed as, a very abstract green aquatic. But it is much more than just those three words. As we start digging into it, you notice immediately the sweet, fresh floral from the, uh, from the honeysuckle. You get a very damp, cool fern, um, very earthy, beautiful, wet earth. Imagine floods of memories on hikes through damp forestry or outdoors after a very hot day's rain. This is beautiful. So well blended, so well crafted. You smell all of the greenery in it, all of the fresh water dripping off of the leaves. I mean, imagine and surround yourself in a very earthy, cool damp forest after you have been on a very long hot hike and the steam is just radiating off the ground of the wet damp soil the leaves it's all kind of drying up the sun's coming back out shining through the canopy that is this in a bottle and it is so perfectly accurate like i i cannot get enough of this because it just floods memories of going on hikes with family friends back in the heyday Oh, it is so, it is so wet, fern, just moisture, and the leaves. I mean, you smell so, so perfectly depicted. So if you love that smell, almost even the smell of wet pavement, like drying off the sidewalk. But you do get that floral, you get that greenery, it's all in there. But if you love and enjoy that smell, this is it in a bottle. Pick it up. I mean, $37. Sample it. The sample's even cheaper than that. You are going to love it. All right. Now, Devil Share. This is my absolute favorite. I love this from the moment that Darren, uh, Darren asked me 
what I thought I wanted to try from his collection, Devil Share was the number number one that I that I mentioned. It just immediately sounded like it was right up my alley. This is a unisex tobacco gourmand woody. $155 for the 50 ml bottle here. Absolute steal of a price if you ask me. Oh my god. Love it, man. The opening on this. Alright, notes. We have sweet orange, mint, pine balsam, black currant, clove, nutmeg, honey, caramel, beeswax absolute, oak wood, tobacco leaf, uh, uh, tobacco leaf absolute, sorry, nicotine free, vanilla bean tincture, cocoa bean absolute. <laughs> what I get right off the opening. I get a very slight sweet citrus from that sweet orange. I get a sort of astringency from the mint, almost like the sharpness it leaves in your um, your nose after you smell mint. A very sharp, refreshing, resinous uh, pine balsam. And then a ton of that spicy, warm sensation starts coming through from the clove, the nutmeg. All going into a very smoky sweetness from the honey, the oak wood. It has that woody touch to it. The tobacco. Tobacco blends um, so well with the beeswax absolute and the clove. It all adds that smoky. So great. And then all on the dry down. And it happens quick. Like all these start mingling so well together and create this very smoky boozy woody fragrance that booziness starts coming through from the bourbon um uh, vanilla uh bean like it's a very boozy bourbon from the vanilla bean tincture and then you get a ton of gourmand from the cocoa the honey it all just creates this sweet gourmand boozy woody beautiful beautiful fragrance Absolutely love it. If you love rich, dark, um, honeyed, sweet, fire, kind of smoky, um, resinous, boozy fragrances that have that just that touch of gourmand, like very dark, deep, um, baked, almost baked pastry sweetness or caramelized uh, sugar, this is the perfume for you. It is so rich, so classy, so elegant. And you grab compliments all day long on this perfect. I mean, it is amazing. And it lasts forever. I get 14 plus hours on my skin on this one. The um, the other one, After the Rain, uh, probably about a good 8 to 10 that I know its presence are there. But it is such um, such a lighter scent. But don't let that fool you. It, it boosts tremendously your siege on it i mean it's everywhere when you spray and wear this there's probably not a place in time that you can go for that day that somebody's not going to pick up on um on either one of them they are phenomenal and like i said for the price you absolutely cannot beat these two perfumes guys if you like what you've seen that's going to do it for these two from darren allen um, Darren, thank you so much, man, for sharing all your creations. I will have more out on some of the others that you sent me because there is most certainly a love in there for those as well. So, guys, if you want to know more, look in the description below. I'll leave everything about Darren, his link to his Instagram, to his website, and then these two perfumes and the price on the bottles. Again, thank you so much for joining me and hit that bell. Subscribe, like, leave a comment, and we will see you next time on the next video. Have a great day.